So, uh, someone asking, what is what is Vulkan? So Vulkan is um, a rendering. Is it's not really an API Vulkan? Is it? it's like, like it's, it's an API? Yeah, it's a something? rendering API. It is. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Um, much like DirectX's, right? Yeah. But uh, is it like OpenGL or something? It, well, yeah, OpenGL is a different this, rendering API, right? Is so it made by the same people, though. No. Uh, so like OpenGL right. is like technically open source. So like anyone who wants to work on OpenGL does, but there's also like a foundation for it. But Vulkan, I think, is the same deal. It's like an open source project. Oh, they're different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My bad. Uh, but it, it's it's like a different, like yeah, rendering API that's built from the ground up. Um, to sort of like fit more like modern needs for rendering. Um, that being said, like Vulkan is still very, very like young. And also like whenever these rendering APIs introduced, hardware has to like make drivers for them. <clears throat> so like, yeah. you know, not every graphics card have support for Vulkan right now. Like if you have a graphics card that's older than... Uh, it is from the same people. Chrome it is? Group. Okay, yeah, Open cool. OpenGL is a predecessor of Vulkan. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, so like Vulkan was created to like sort of, yeah, fix some issues that existed with like current, well, Vulkan is current gen, but yeah, Vulkan is still sort of young. It's like not finished, so to speak. Vulkan is kind of early access in a sense. Um, but it changed, it, it like changes the rendering pipe a lot and, um, it's still in development sort of. So like Epic have introduced Vulkan support, but they're also working together with the people that, that are developing Vulkan to be able to like fully support it. So yeah, TLDR, it's, it's. It's a, yeah. yeah, it can it can introduce performance improvements depending on your hardware. Uh, in some cases, maybe one of the other rendering APIs is more performant based on like what we're doing with the game. So it's hard to tell um, until we try it. And that's what we're yep. doing. Exactly. And uh, and of course, I mean, the, the, the same, the old support for DX11, which is what everyone is using right now for Satisfactory, uh, that's obviously going to stay as well. Yeah. Uh, we're not removing that or anything like that. But the option to switch to Vulkan or DX12 is there, and uh, we do think that in you know on the average case there should be some performance gains uh, if you do switch to it and it works. That and it works is a you know that's what we're gonna see, mm. all right. Yeah. But if it does work, we do uh, suspect that uh, among the, the the general case people should get yeah. a bit of an improvement. And uh, also like if you're getting crashes when you're switching to these, like you don't need to like really do anything except like hit the the crash report as it shows up, just send us reports and then we'll, we'll be notified. Um, but if you're running into like rendering issues or like something weird glitching out, please let us know on the QA site. Uh, that is uh, questions.satisfactorydgame.com, which is also where you should post like feedback and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, let us know what's going on <laughs> so we can uh, try and fix it because we're going to try and, and solve like most of the issues that you guys are running into on the experimental branch, um, like in preparation for update five so that we are, you know, better fit once that update drops, um, so to speak. 